Hello friends, this season we're gonna be making tons of such huge reviews and comparisons so subscribe for more and before we go into the nice story about all of these here I'm gonna just point out some things you need to be aware of when you buy systems for storaging your bikes Number one, full suspension bikes will not fit although you can hang a bike, you can hang a ladder or wheels and tires on it and also the size of the frame is important here because this is not adjustable. Number two, these very popular hooks are great, but you need to be aware of the size of the tire that it will actually fit. So you need to ask the seller about it. These will only take road bikes. Then we have some really nice stands for the bike. You can put this one horizontally or vertically. This is a nice system and this system fits to all of my bikes, which is not so obvious for most of the systems actually. This is kind of a shelf or a hanger. Nice for top tube, not for full suspension bikes. This is very easy and foldable hanger. Very easy to install and very cheap, but these hooks, these mounts will not fit carbon frames and no full suspension bikes, of course. This one, this has a pivoting there. It's a swinging one, so you can swing the bike towards the wall. It is super comfortable. It's a great system. If you put it low, you're gonna be actually be able to ride with your bike onto it. So if you have a heavy uh, e-bike, it will be great. I just wanted to have it as high as possible. This is compatible with all of my bikes. This is important. Then we get the lift for the bicycle. You need to be aware that some hooks will not be compatible with your frame. At least it should be compatible with the saddle, but this one isn't. So you need such a bridge or a rack. And here we have very minimalistic three plates thing. You don't <laughs> want to put it too high because then the handlebar will hit the ceiling. And it would be good, nice to have the rubber there for your pedals not to scratch those. And then these things are super popular. You can uh, put those together and have a hundred bikes uh, just be besides one another. But the rotor size 203 may not be compatible and the rear derailleur on the lower gears will hit this frame. Let's get to our story now. Yep, this is my tiny 10 square meters or just about 100 square feet studio. There is mess on my workbench, there is mess beneath. Ugh. And yes, as many bikers, I have some unfinished rooms in the house that cats and bikes and components and accessories occupy. We have to change it now. Uh, I'm gonna need that camera. Even though cats prefer it that way, we need to change their base and enlarge my living space. Let's get busy now! And I'm gonna do the cleaning in the t-shirt that was designed, made and sent to me by one of you. Thanks! And I must tell you, I'm 100% sure that when I leave this studio, when I switch the light off, the tools will swap their places, the brushes will start to walk, and the screws are having party disappearing. Oops, you weren't supposed to see this. And then cables, cables, chargers, chargers. Do you have the same problem? At least my headphones have their place, but where are the other ones? Huh. 
It seems to me like the little one doesn't like the cleaning. No. Our first toy is the bike stand, but its design is pretty clever. First off, it fits all of my bikes, which is not so obvious with the bike stand. Secondly, we'll be able to put the bike vertically or horizontally. Don't lose the screws. <laughs> the instruction makes sense and the assembly is very easy. You can see how quickly and easily I'll assemble all those parts. That's it, it's all set up. In order to put the bike vertically, you can ride with your rear wheel onto the base, I would say swinging base, and then you adjust the height of the hook. This feels very stable, so if you don't have very even floor, maybe in your garage, it will work, and it will work for the road bike too. I must tell you, I like the design. If you have smaller wheels on your bike, no problem. You just adjust the base and the hook and okay. it fits. This is the vintage bike. And if you want to put your bike horizontally, there you go. Super easy, not many parts, good looking. Okay. Number two, a bicycle wall hanger. First of all, it fits all of my bikes again and it's very easy to assemble and it's really space saving. You see how quickly it gets messy here. Very quickly. You just pair the right drill with the included plug and it goes pretty quickly. It's good to measure the width of your handlebars and the diameter of your wheel. I want to hang my bike as close to the ceiling as possible, that's why I was measuring the front wheel, but if you want to put the bike on the floor, you measure the distance from the hanger to the floor. It's a smart decision to use the special metal or voltage detector, it won't react to the plastic marker, it will react when it finds like a metal screw. Actually, you can find with it anything. Now you know why I'm so fast on the bike. Most of the cases when I buy something that goes on the wall, I just replace the original plugs that come with it with some larger and better plugs. These are Fisher plugs. Do you call those plugs or the anchors? Uh, and they hold very well. Actually, I can I can spoil you that all of the uh, plugs that came with any uh, with any hanger. I'm sorry, they held very well. After measuring the wheelbase of your bike, if you're pro, you should know it by heart you will find the spot for the other plate which will protect the wall against your rear wheel but also when you swing the bike because this is swinging hanger uh, it will kind of keep your bike into place i'm loving this it fits all of the tires all of the bikes okay. if you put the bike low you're not gonna have to actually lift yeah. it in order to put it on The next one on our list is a minimalistic three metal plates bike stand or uh, a hanger. It's great okay, design no. because you hardly see anything Oops. bike related on the wall if you take your bike for the ride and your wife is sitting there with the guests. I'm saying this is kind of a hanger and stand because the two wheels will be supported by these two plates. And oh, yeah, I did, I did wrong measurements and my first holes were too high. And also, uh, the third one will keep, this one will keep the pedal in place. It's really stable and those cool. two plates at the bottom are also the hangers for my headphones and maybe for your rucksack and maybe the helmet. Can you see all of those boxes? I really ran out of the place on my walls. This is the bike stand, super popular and the most, I would say, classic bicycle stand. You just have to be aware that the rear derailleur on those lower gears will actually hit the frame of the stand, so you need to change the gear before you put the bike on. And also, those Eagle cassettes and the large, like, 203mm uh, brake rotors might be in the way. 
Next up is this extremely easy to assemble foldable wall hanger. The problem with it is, yeah, no modern carbon frames, only the classical ones. Time for the cheapest in this comparison. This is a wall hanger, I would say wall hook. Uh, it will not protect the wall against the rear wheel. It's very easy to install and it's very easy to install the bike on it unless you want to hang it really close to the ceiling. This is a little bit too high, I would say. There are two versions I'm testing here. One has the hook on a, like a swinging hook. Uh, it's pivoting and the other one is just firmly welded into the thing and surprisingly the one which was welded with no pivoting was actually easier for me uh, when I was putting the bike on the wall. I really love wood, metal and wood, not so much plastic or even carbon fiber. This is a wooden hanger or a shelf also at the same time. I like this design and actually in most of the countries you're gonna be able to find a very very similar design. It's a hanger for the top chip of your bike and a shelf for your helmet or some accessories. The only problem is it takes time to tighten this longest screw. This is one of the few bike hangers that your wife will accept in the living room. Yeah, just above your TV set with your bike there. Clean one. This is the cheap one, the garage-like. Not so well made, but it will do its job. For the garage, perfect. You can put the ladder on it, you can hang the bike on it, you can hang lots of tires and wheels on it. Now it's time to open the longest package that came to my studio. It came from Germany. Also, mit freundlichen Grüßen nach Deutschland. It's well made, this is aluminum. It comes with three hangers, oh, sorry, two hangers, but I would be able to squeeze in the third bike. That was my thought. So it could come with three hangers. And if one bike was facing the other side that the two I'm hanging there, it would actually fit three bicycles. There are some problems though. Well done, good looking, very easy to assemble. We've got two quick releases for those telescopes and I have pretty high ceiling here. It will fit really high rooms but the only thing i don't like are these hooks this is a kind of a high quality plastic but it should be rubberized on the inside and also it should fit modern bikes not only those classical tubes it doesn't fit my road bike it doesn't fit my mountain bike either 
and we shouldn't be hanging the bike like this on a damper because we can damage the surface of it. And here is how would I fit the third bike on this telescope. This is how the studio looks like so far. And you know what? I'm running out of the space on the walls. So we need to move to the ceiling. We've had the bike stands, we had the bike wall hangers. It's time for the bike lift or bike ceiling hanger. If you have the right frame for it, uh, if you don't have a rack, it needs to have that little bridge between the uh, seat stays. You're gonna be able to use this one. It's easy to, to assemble unless you have some problems with your ceiling. And the lift works like this. All right, it hangs by this little bridge at the, at the back, if you have it on your bike. And then by the handlebars. And the last wall hanger in this comparison comes from Germany. Also, it will not fit your white handlebars unless you cut the handlebar or make a hole in the wall. Yep, basically. So road bikes or those older mountain bikes or maybe kids bikes, it will hold your bike like this. You can of course put it high on the wall. Thank you for watching the entire video. I have gained so much living space, even though it was a lot of work, but it was worth it. So once again, subscribe for more and see you in the next one. Bye.